Good afternoon. Uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Kumar Swami, Managing Director, IPCO Process and Belt Technology India Private Limited. Uh, good afternoon, Kumar ji. Good afternoon. Uh, would you talk about your company and uh, what are the things that you are doing in India? Well, we are present in India since 1994, uh, part of another uh, multinational conglomerate. Beginning 2017, we are a standalone company. Uh, December 1st, it is uh, incorporated. Uh, our company name is uh, IPCO. So we are an industrial processing company uh, dealing with uh, our main products are belts and uh, steel belts and steel belt based uh, equipments. We are catering to food, wood, uh, refining products, uh, chemical, petrochemical, um, various I think composite uh, solutions we can offer. Um, the, uh, right from I think belts giving it to OEM producers who make their I think own uh, equipment to I think our own I think solutions where uh, producing either solidification systems either for sulfur, paraffin wax, uh, asphalt in, rubber chemicals, a range of uh, uh, um, uh, resins like I think epoxy, RF resin, um, various I think uh, specialty chemical products. And uh, besides, uh, we are into we have uh, the belts for uh, bake ovens, uh, biscuit manufacturing or cookie manufacturing, and uh, we also offer I think steel belts and steel belt based equipment for chocolate making. So this is our I think uh, complete portfolio. In India, you are very active on chemical refinery and petrochemical sector. So how are they benefiting from your solution? So firstly, these are uh, melts. The, the melt at a elevated uh, temperature, uh, it is always a liquid form. And the moment uh, the, it attains, I think, a cooling zone, it becomes a solid. So the very purpose of, I think, uh, these things uh, is, I think, for transportation purpose and to use them into the subsequent processes. So uh, it needs to be in solid and depending upon, I think, the product value, they will be bagged or I think uh, they can be even uh, uh, truck loaded or I think bulk uh, handled. With crude prices going up, uh, you would like to maximize uh, with respect to bottom of the barrel or the residue. So any solutions for that? Well, it's a very good question and uh, with uh, the crude prices going up, uh, the refiner's uh, endeavor is always to use till the very last uh, bottom of the barrel and as it goes down and down and I think the residues uh, are the ones that I think the refiner will always I think uh, get it, it, it uh, uh, translates into a residue which I think uh, uh, need to be uh, handled uh, in this particular case, it is going to be solidified. The solidified product, I think, need to be transported uh, in a bulk manner. Uh, mostly, I think, uh, what we are, I think, understanding is it will be used uh, as a solid fuel. And uh, what are your plans, sir, uh, for India this year? This year, uh, well, I think uh, we are doing well so far, and uh, all the projects uh, that we have taken uh, during the pandemic, uh, we are closing one by one. Uh, few of the projects, we are commissioning them. And uh, we look forward to more and more in the chemical and I think refinery segment uh, with more number of, I think, new projects. Uh, it is quite a, a, a good, I think, movement in the market after two years of, I think, uh, uh, difficult situations for various customers. But during this period, I think all of our customers, our employees, our uh, sub-vendors, everybody has uh, been extremely, I think, cooperative and I think uh, they are keeping their commitments. We are one of the uh, lucky people to have uh, received, I think, this kind of, I think, support and I think, encouragement.